Hey guys, what's up? What's up? All right, so here is another Django tip for um, Ajax Post, and um, I, I wasn't really familiar with this, so hopefully this does help out a lot of people. But this is just like a sample form. I'm not using Django Forms or anything because I restrict access to this page uh, just for administration purposes, and I'm not really um, I'm not really updating an object that corresponds to a Django model which is the primary reason why you would want to use a Django form is because generally you're updating stuff that goes right into a model. I'm going to be doing something a little bit more complex than that, a lot more back-end processing type of stuff that, that I'm going to be doing. So really I just want to just simply give you know fill in some information and then on the back-end be able to grab that information and do something with it. So here's this uh, simple test page that we have, and we're using a form. Let me... Um, I'll zoom in on this a bit. So we're using a form that just simply says on submit return false. That way it doesn't have any sort of page refresh because we're going to be sending the form data through Ajax. So what we do is um, instead of using a submit button, I'm just using a regular button with class that says uh, on click call this function down here. And this function is described right here, so we'll display an AJAX loading symbol, and then we make our AJAX call. Now, the data that we pass in, it, it's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't realize how simple it is unless you play with it. Uh, this doesn't even need a comma there if you don't want that. But um, the data that needs to be passed in, you have to have your middleware token, otherwise it's not going to pass. And I have an ID here of a blog title, so let's just look at this real quick. What's going to happen is when we submit it, it's going to go to this build movie list thing, and what it's going to do is it's going to grab a ver it's going to create a variable named test, which is grabbing the post data for blog title. And you're going to see why this doesn't work in just a moment. But let me go ahead and just show you what we're looking at. And so here this is. So if everything worked well, you would just be able to go like test, and that works. Okay, actually that's not what I meant to do because I need to update the script. All right, so here we go. So we have our blog test, right? So it returns nothing. And the reason why is because this is expecting a blog title object, which doesn't exist because we're not doing actual normal Django form post. So when we go to our actual HTML page, we actually need to, in our jQuery Ajax post, we need to say, we need you to pass along the value in blog title. So we can do that by saying blog title, and this can be whatever you want, and then colon, and then here we're going to use jQuery to say, grab me the ID of blog title, dot val and you can see here that the ID is blog title so we're just simply you know by hand saying pass along that value and then on the back end Django is going to pick that up with the request.post and by doing this method it's not going to throw an exception if, if that is empty or not there at all it's just going to default to an empty string uh, that's what this tuple here does so um, let's go ahead and let me just uh, merge up that, that file real quick. And now when we go over here, that's the wrong one. Shoot. All right, here we go. All right, so now that we've explicitly passed in the title, we can pass in whatever we want. It's, and it's just returning it as a JSON object. So whatever the F. It just simply passes it back. But you notice no page refresh, just a jQuery uh, behind the scene call. So anyway, that is how you pass uh, custom data um, using jQuery, JSON, Ajax, Django. All right, thank you for watching.